फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट देयर फोर दिस कोर्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इवन इफ ए विटनेस इज ट्रीटेड एज होस्टाइल एंड इज क्रॉस एग्जामिन हिज एविडेंस कैन नॉट बी रिटर्न ऑफ ऑल टूगेदर बट मस्ट बी कंसिडर्ड विद ड्यू केयर एंड सरकमस्पेक्शन एंड दैट पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्टिमनी विच इज क्रेडिट वर्थी मस्ट बी कंसिडर्ड एंड एक्टेड अपॉन इट इज फॉर द जज एज ए मैटर ऑफ प्रूडेंस टू कंसिडर द एक्सटेंट ऑफ एविडेंस विच इज क्रेडिट वर्थी फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ प्रूफ ऑफ द केस इन अदर वर्ड्स द फैक्ट दैट ए विटनेस हैज बीन डिक्लेयर्ड हो स्टाइल डज नॉट रिजल्ट इन एन ऑटोमेटिक रिजेक्शन ऑफ इज एविडेंस इवन द एविडेंस ऑफ ए होस्टाइल विटनेस इफ इट फाइंड्स कोरोबोरेशन फ्रॉम द फैक्ट्स ऑफ द केस मे बी टेकन इन टू अकाउंट वाइल जजिंग द गिल्ट ऑफ द एक्यूज दस देर इज नो लीगल बार टू रेज ए कन्विक्शन अपोन अ होस्टाइल विटनेस टेस्टिमनी इफ कोरोबोरेटेड बाई अदर रिलायबल एविडेंस वट एमर्जिस फ्रॉम द अफोर्सेड डिस्कशन इज समराइज एज अंडर प्रूफ ऑफ डिमांड एंड एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ इलीगल ग्रेटिफिकेशन बाय अ पब्लिक सर्वेंट एज ए फैक्ट इन इशू बाय द प्रोसिक्यूशन इज ए सीने क्वा नोन इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टाब्लिश द गिल्ट ऑफ द एक्यूज पब्लिक सर्वेंट अंडर सेक्शंस सेवन एंड थर्टीन वन डी वन एंड टू ऑफ द एक्ट इन ऑर्डर टू ब्रिंग होम द गिल्ट ऑफ द एक्यूज द प्रोसिक्यूशन हैज़ टू फर्स्ट प्रूव द डिमांड ऑफ इलीगल ग्रेटिफिकेशन एंड द सब्सिक्वेंट एक्सेप्टेंस एज ए मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट This fact in issue can be proved either by direct evidence which can be in the nature of oral evidence or documentary evidence further the fact in issue namely the proof of demand and acceptance of illegal gratification can also be proved by circumstantial evidence in the absence of direct oral and documentary evidence in order to prove the fact in issue namely the demand and acceptance of illegal gratification by the public servant the following aspects have to be borne in mind if there is an offer to pay by the bribe giver without there being any demand from the public servant and the latter simply accepts the offer and receives the illegal gratification it is a case of acceptance as per section 7 of the act in such a case there need not be a prior demand by the public servant on the other hand if the public servant makes a demand and the bribe giver accepts the demand and tenders the demanded gratification which in turn is received by the public servant it is a case of obtainment in the case of obtainment the prior demand for illegal gratification emanates from the public servant this is an offence under section 13 1d1 and 2 of the act in both cases of 1 and 2 above the offer by the bribe giver and the demand by the public servant respectively have to be proved by the prosecution as a fact in issue in other words mere acceptance or receipt of an illegal gratification without anything more would not make it an offence under section 7 or section 13 1d 1 and 2 respectively of the act therefore under section 7 of the act in order to bring home the offence there must be an offer which emanates from the bribe giver which is accepted by the public servant which would make it an offence similarly a prior demand by the public servant when accepted by the bribe giver and in turn there is a payment made which is received by the public servant would be an offence of obtainment under section 13 1d and 1 and 2 of the act the presumption of fact with regard to the demand and acceptance or obtainment of an illegal gratification may be made by a court of law by way of an inference only when the foundational facts have been proved by relevant oral and documentary evidence and not in the absence thereof on the basis of the material on record the court has the discretion to raise a presumption of fact while considering whether the fact of demand has been proved by the prosecution or not of course a presumption of fact is subject to rebuttal by the accused and in the absence of rebuttal presumption stands in the event the complainant turns hostile 
or has died or is unavailable to let in his evidence during trial, demand of illegal gratification can be proved by letting in the evidence of any other witness who can again let in evidence either orally or by documentary evidence or the prosecution can prove the case by circumstantial evidence. The trial does not abate nor does it result in an order of acquittal of the accused public servant. In so far as section 7 of the act is concerned, on the proof of the facts in issue, section 20 mandates the court to raise a presumption that the illegal gratification was for the purpose of a motive or reward as mentioned in the said section. The said presumption has to be raised by the court as a legal presumption or a presumption in law. Of course, the said presumption is also subject to rebuttal. Section 20 does not apply to Section 13.1d, 1 and 2 of the Act. We clarify that the presumption in law under Section 20 of the Act is distinct from presumption of fact referred to above in point E as the former is a mandatory presumption while the latter is discretionary in nature. Stop.